Hello students, I hope you have enjoyed trick number 13 where I have posted some tricks through which you can uh, reduce your mathematics fear, have fun while doing mathematics and for teachers also. Uh, now in trick 14, I have, I have a challenge for you. I will be solving uh, one or two funny mathematical tricks uh, here in trick 14. You have to tell me what is wrong in the steps which I have done in this trick. So here I go. The first part of my trick is to prove that 1 is equal to 2. Funny, isn't it? 1 cannot be equal to 2, obviously. So I will adopt one method. I will demonstrate it stepwise. And you have to point out in your comments on this video what is wrong in this procedure. So here I go. Obviously, x is equal to x. If we square both sides, x square will be equal to x square. If I subtract x square from both sides, x square minus x square will be equal to x square minus x square. Now, I take x common here and I am left with one factor x minus x. In the second part, I am applying the identity a square minus b square, a minus b, a plus b. Now since these are two factors, I will bring this factor here, so it comes in the denominator. Common factor cancels out and I am left with x is equal to x plus x, x means 1x and x plus x is 2x. So again the common factor x cancels out and we are left with 1 is equal to 2. This is a mathematical fallacy where there is some mistake in one of the steps. You have to point out what is the mistake in this process. Using the same process, we will try and prove something else. Now this time, I will go with the cubes. I have taken squares here. I will go with the cubes now, x cube minus x cube equal to x cube minus x cube. I will adopt the same procedure again. Here I have taken x common, now I will take x square common. So I am left with x minus x. Now I will apply the identity a cube minus b cube, a minus b, a square minus, sorry, plus a b plus b square this x minus x I will bring it to this side on the other side I am left with x square plus x square plus x square common factor x minus x cancels out leaving behind x square equal to 3x square x square is 1x square obviously so x square common factor cancels out again and I am left with 1 is equal to 3. So 1 equal to 2, 1 equal to 3. Similarly, if you can take larger powers here, if I take x raised to power 4, I can prove 2 equal to 3, 1 equal to 4, 3 equal to 4 and so on. But obviously these are wrong. There is some step which is misinterpreted here. So you have to tell me what is the fault, what is the wrong step in these two procedures in your comments. Please comment, please take time out for 5 minutes, have a look at the steps and comment. Thank you, keep enjoying, keep learning and please share and subscribe. I will be posting the answer of these videos, both procedures in trick number 15.